Hey you guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. If you're new here and you would like to purchase anything, pause the video right here, take a peek at this little paper here, and I'll tell you exactly how to do it. And I saw that our subscribers moved a little bit, which is so exciting. So welcome to everyone, new and old. <laughs> Not age-wise, guys, okay? I mean, new subscribers and existing subscribers. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so I thought we would look at these three pieces first and then dive into Throwback Thursday jewelry. I had shown you guys these pieces in the last video. Um, I think I showed them pretty well. So if you need more information than I give now, um, what you could do is go look at my last video and check that out. Okay, so here are our numbers. This was the Joan Rivers egg with the little faux pearl on the bottom. It's a necklace and it's going to be 15, $15, number 107. Okay, and then these Givenchy, I think I'm saying that right, clip earrings, very nice. Um, these are also gonna be 15. And this bracelet, it was Raddy, R Roddy, R A D I, in made in Spain. I was just looking at the name there. Um, this one is also going to be 15. It's in beautiful condition. Okay, so if you need any more information on those, go to the last video. Perfect. So let's start our Throwback Thursday jewelry. And I have so many things to tell you. I didn't want to do it at the beginning and be like boring forever. So. I'm gonna talk to you as we go. And I'm opening bags here. Okay, so this is really pretty. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful tiger's eye with the Asian characters. We've had a couple of these bracelets recently. A jadeite one, I know for sure. Um, let's see, we've got a little safety clasp here. Does it work? It works, nice. Okay, let's make sure the clasp works. Yes, very nice, awesome. Okay, this is really beautiful. Let's get a size. It is, I would say seven. It's a seven. And we're gonna do this one for 13, $13. It's very, very pretty. And uh, let's see. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, you guys, look at it. It's like a... It looks Victorian to me. Um, I don't know. I guess it could be a reproduction, but it is a C clasp. It has some, um, I'm going to call this instead of verdigris because it's on like a um, brassy color. It's more of a patina on this. Um, verdigris technically is a patina, but it, it doesn't need to be removed from this, if that makes sense. <laughs> This is really cute. I like it. Um, so it's two and three quarter inches and it's going to be $10. $10. That is pretty. Okay, so a couple things to talk about. March 30th, mark your calendars. 7 to 11 Eastern time. 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern time. You need to mark your calendars. Tell your family that you have previous engagements. You're coming to my auction. There's going to be an, I'm gonna be um, in an auction with Kristen D on her channel, Another Chance Resale. And like I said, it is March 30th, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern time. It's gonna be so fun, you guys. So I feel a little bit of a, is it a crack? Let's use the lens. Oh, and along with the auction information, in the description of this video, I will include a link so you can have it notify you of the auction. Do you guys see that? It's like a little scratch. It's super hard to see, but you can feel it. So I just wanted to let you know, this is really go cool. It's like that um, foil glass that's made to look like something or other that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> There's an, a very expensive glass technique that this is made to look like. It's very cool. Oh, it has a tag, you guys. Let's see. What does the tag say? It says long craft, L-O-N-G-C-R-A-F-T. It is seven and a half inches long. And this one is going, it's silver tone, by the way. This one is going to be $17, $17. 
That's a nice one, you guys. It's very pretty. It's in like a scarab style, not scarab bug carving on it. <laughs> okay, well, let's check this guy out. It was pretty. It's a leaf. I like these extra like design elements they added here in the negative space. That's cute. Um, it is two inches and it's going to be six dollars. Okay, the blowout sale. That's our next big thing to talk about, the blowout sale. So I added a post today in the community page and it shows you the first video that the sale starts with. It shows you that thumbnail. And then the second picture is the last video, the newest one that you would get to where the sale ends. So I did pictures of the thumbnails. So that might make it easier for you looking. And then you can shop all the videos in between will be the, uh oh, we got bent post, will be the 50% off. So those two, then they're pictured and all the ones in between. So that being said, it was supposed to end today, but I know a lot of you are trying to get through the videos. I've heard that. So um, I'm going to take the pressure off. So that's not a big deal for you. And we can extend it to next Friday, the 24th. Okay. Now this is wobbly. Okay. I don't think it's going to pull out, but I'm going to make them a dollar because it's wobbly. These are really cool. They're plastic. They are not big light. I did test that. Oh no, sorry. We're going to go and craft a dollar. Hopefully Bryn doesn't steal them. <laughs> okay. So blowout sale, I extended for another week after that. And I added the thumbnails to the community tab so you can check them out and know exactly what you're looking at. After next Friday, they, all of the remaining jewelry from those sales is going to be um, sold in lots on eBay. So this is your last, last chance to look at it if you want to. Oh, whoops, I'm not, I'm blocking. So let's see what this red on the, hmm, hold on. Interesting. Okay, guys, that's where it's reading. Um, is there an orange nephrite? I'm wondering, because that's what that made me think. Let me show you up close so you can see it. There's definitely different colors all through here. When I first saw it, I guessed, oops, I can't think of the word. Oh my goodness gracious, Julie. I didn't guess anything. I'm fibbing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I was hoping it was something that I cannot think of the name of right now. Holy hell. Oops, sorry. Swear. <laughs> All right, barrel clasp. Let's get you um, a drop on this because it's a little bit shorter. I'll measure all the shorter guys for you. If you need a measurement on a longer one, just let me know. Seven inch drop, you guys, seven inch drop on there. All I can come up with gar is garnet for the word and that's not what I was thinking of. Um, but anyway, I'm not sure what it is. You saw the gem tester. This one is going to be 15, 15. <laughs> My brain will come up with it in a few minutes or as soon as I turn the video off, I am sure. It is not a name that's on here. This is cool. It's kind of the same color. Maybe it is the same thing. We can um, definitely look at that. It is a longer piece, nice and cold to the touch, barrel clasp. That's really nice. Okay, let's see if we can get the gem tester to tell us anything on this one. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. I gotta go kind of sideways because these are like triangle shaped. Okay, so it reads about the same area. So I think this is probably the same uh, material as that one. Would they look pretty together? Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, I think they do. Check that out. Those look pretty. I like it. Okay, put that one back where it goes so I don't get confused. This one is going to be $20. $20. I like that. So you know how I rate when you can't think of something and then it stays in your brain as you're filming the whole video. I'm really trying to like, whoop, let it go <laughs> and be present. <laughs> okay, so this is a kind of weirdo piece that I like actually love <laughs> because of its cool artistic weirdness. I think it's awesome. It's a different piece for this lot that we've been going through. It's kind of like 
Which one of these does not belong? It's this one, <laughs> which makes me like it even more. Okay, so here's what I'm showing you so far. This looks like it's like sea sponge or something. And here we go. Here we go. You got a little bit of everything here, guys. Oh man, after all that, I went the wrong way. And some dominoes. <laughs> I find this cool and artistic and fun. I know it definitely won't be everybody's thing, but I think it's really cool. You've got a whole bit, bunch of different materials. These are glass. You got wood. You've got acrylic. Um, that's like, it is metal, but it's weird. It almost looks like cording. Um, these are metal. Uh, you have some of the metal has leached on some of these beads. It probably would clean off. I'm not sure about that. It's just cute. I think it's neat. I think it's neat. Okay, so this one is going to be $10. $10. And if you buy it, I got to see a picture of you in it because I love it. Ooh, okay. So, you know our BB, BB, Bev's bringing back brooches. Well, Bev sent me a picture of her in a brooch, and guess what? I cannot find it in my email. I even saved it into my photos, and I should have loaded it up right there, but I was waiting for an answer. And then I cleaned out all my old photos the last couple days because I ran out of storage space. And, you know, you have all photos in there that you do not need. You know what I mean? Like screenshots of things. And Oh, hey, honey. Do you need this? I'll buy it for you. You like that kind of pictures? <laughs> so somehow I lost the picture. So Bev, if you're watching, please send me another one. Okay. So this is made to look like rose quartz. And they did a very good job of making it look like rose quartz. Or even like a pink jade. They kind of look pretty similar, I think. Um, they have this... Um... <sighs> yeah. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with my words today? It's not hand painted, it's the other thing. Transfer, this transfer image of flowers on there. Very, very pretty. It is vintage, it has that hidden um, barrel clasp. Let me get you a drop on this one. I just think it's so pretty and feminine, don't you guys? Um, it is a seven inch drop and it's gonna be $8, guys. Just $8 on that cutie. Cutie patootie. I changed my camera angle a little bit. I think I like it. I was hitting the bottom of the camera too much. And um, I think that this will help. And I was looking over the top of the camera too much and not looking at what I was filming, which sometimes makes me go off camera, which isn't good. Okay, guys, this says Japan. Um, it is a double strand. That's cool. It's like um, cream and like a light blue um, AB finish on some of them. Do you see like that one? It almost has like a light blue feel to it. I like how they did this. This is cool. Just randomly place those throughout. It gives it interest. Can you guys see those light blue ones in there? I really like it. Okay, so to this first drop, it's a six inch drop plus the extender. Okay, there is an extender right here. And to the lower one, it's a seven inch drop. So that one's going to be $15. So you guys, tonight on Hulu, from what I could see, it's going to go out on Hulu, okay? <laughs> I was having a little bit of a hard time getting a firm confirmation of that. But from what I've looked at, um, the Boston Strangler new movie is going to be out with Kira Knightley in it. And, you know, Jeff and I are crazy true crime people, so we're excited. <laughs> it's going to be movie night. Okay, guys, these are acrylic again, made to look like something else it's really really cool it has like this um faux crazing finish on these it's just really cool and like an antiquing i really like it let me give you the drop on this one it's not super short but i'll give it to you anyway 10 inch drop it's going to be eight dollars so 21 and a half inch drop i wrote on here so 20 i bet this is has a total length of 21 and a half inches just so you know eight dollars cool so yeah if you're into true crime or kira knightley check it out i'm excited to watch okay oh that's the other thing about the blowout sale that i want to tell you some people are having a hard time finding the dates and i don't blame you i 
it's like yeah. I look for a date and then the next time I look for a date, I can't find them again. So don't, I don't feel bad about that. I can never find the dates of the videos. So if you want to buy something and you can't find the dates, you could, um, do a scrap shot, excuse me, of the screen, <laughs> do a screenshot of the thumbnail and kind of show the thumbnail and say, I want these items from this. And that works for me just fine too. Okay. So six inch drop to the lowest spot on this one. It does have an extender and seven and a half inch drop to the longest piece. This one is marked Japan. It is acrylic, all different colors of blue and some blue greens. Very, very pretty. Some faux pearls that have like a green, green hint to them. This one is going to be 15. 15 on the Japan three strand. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> oh, this is cute, you guys. I like this. Look at, she's pretty, huh? I really like her. She's really pretty. Little pin, she's about an inch. I think that's my cheat sheet said. Yep, she's an inch. Gonna do $4 on her. Four dollars. A little beauty. A little beauty. Um, okay, so the other thing about the blowout sale is I know that some of you don't have time to go watch videos, uh, all the videos back and find things that you want, and I get it totally. So what I was thinking about doing is this one is also marked Japan, you guys. Um, let me show you it. These are different like green colors. It's like a sage color and like a lighter green. This is really pretty. So to the shorter one, it's a five and three quarter inch drop plus this extender, double strand, as you can see, graduating. And um, to this guy, it's a six and a half inch drop. Okay, so this one is going to be 15. I'll take the hair back. You guys don't need that. <laughs> $15 on that one, you guys. It is acrylic. It is acrylic. I forgot to mention that. Okay, so if you don't have time to go back and watch all the videos, I totally get it. I don't, I probably wouldn't have time to do that either right now in my life, but someday I would hope to. <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to offer mystery lots, okay? These are nice. These are nicely made. Oh, they're Renoir. Of course, they're very nicely made. Copper, Matisse Renoir. They only say Renoir on these ones, so does that mean they're not Matisse Renoir? I don't know. Is there a difference between the two? My guess is not. <laughs> this is one and a quarter inches wide. Let me open it. Maybe it says Matisse in there. You've got some verdigris patina there. I Again, it's copper, so some of this is more patina on copper. Um, but you might want to clean some of this off. It's up to you how you feel about that. These guys are going to be, these are beautiful. They have a nice weight. You can tell they're nice right away when your hand. Do you guys know what I'm talking about when I say that? As soon as you pick up a piece of jewelry, you go, oop, it's nice. You could be blindfolded, right? <laughs> um, $10, you guys, $10. Okay, so I was thinking about doing mystery lots. And when I was out of those videos, okay, I'll pull things from those videos that haven't sold, okay? And I was going to do five pieces for $25. And I'll make sure that the five piece, so basically you're paying $5 a piece, right? So I'll make sure that that $5 is the 50% off price. So basically the value of the box will be 50 or more dollars. It probably will be more because there's not a lot of $10 pieces. Um, so it would be $25 plus shipping for five pieces. I would assume for most of you, it would be five, $5 around there shipping. So if you want a mystery lot, just tell me. If you want me to try to put a ring in it, tell me your ring size. And if I have something that size, I'll put it in there. This is a seven and a half inch drop, you guys. It does have an extender right there. Um, it is very cool black colors. These are almost like a faux pearl, isn't it? Oh, somebody just told me what this kind of pearl is called. Oh man, I really filed the name of this pearl into a very special place in my brain. <laughs> so I would remember. <laughs> you know, guys, there's so much information about jewelry. You can never remember it all, I don't think. Although I have to say, Kristen D has a pretty fantastic memory for it all. This is really cool. 
I like it. There's five strands. Um, we're going to do this one for $8. Very, very pretty. I'm going to have to go back and look that pearl name up and file it in a better place. <laughs> in my good old brain here. Okay, so uh, that's all I want to say about mystery lots, the blowout sale, the auction. <laughs> oh, I love this. Look at that clasp. That is pretty. Wow. I really like that. She's pretty. There we go. Box clasp. Very, very beautiful. Um, like a matte gold bead. I'm just looking if there's any damage. I'm looking over the camera right now. So if I go out of frame, I'm sorry. No, I would say it's in really good condition, you guys. It is strung on cord. Two strands. Very, very beautiful. And let's put it this way because, my goodness, you have to wear this one in the front, I think. All right. It has an 8-inch drop to the shortest piece and a 9-inch drop to the longest one. And this one, um, oh, I have it said that it's marked Japan, you guys. Did somebody see a marking? Did I miss a marking? I don't see. I think my notes is, are lying to me. Fibbers. Oh, they're not. Look at that. That's good to know, you guys. That's a side mark. Japan. Okay, good to know. Thank you, cheat sheet. I didn't mean to call you a liar. Okay, so this one is going to be 17. 17. That is beautiful. I love that clasp. All right, so I'm just going to delve quickly into this one because we're not going to do anything sad today. But I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who bought jewelry last week because I took all the money from the jewelry last week and I donated it to my friend's wife's GoFundMe, my friend that passed away. So we all made a really nice um, donation and it made me so happy. So thank you all so, 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 so much. Okay. All right. That's enough about that. Nothing sad. Okay, so this is sort of a clasp, but it's not a clasp. I don't even think it's one of those pushy ones, is it? I think this is an infinity, guys. They're just kind of giving you a spot that's the back. It is acrylic. It's made to look like agate for sure. It's very cool. Different browns and creams. It's long, and it dog hair likes it. <laughs> dog glitter. Glitter. <laughs> All right, this one has a 26 and a half inch drop. Very cool. And I just realized that my cheat sheets will tell me all the measurements. So all those measurements I was doing earlier, <laughs> this one's giving me $7, you guys, $7. I already did it. Cheapers, Julie, work smarter, not harder. <laughs> okay, here we go. These are marked Crown Jafari. I like to show you. Ooh. There it is. Can you see the crown and the trafari? Clip-ons. Very pretty. Like that brushed gold. I like that. They're about an inch and a quarter tall. And these are going to be $8. $8 on the crown trafari. All right. Next. All right. What have we got, guys? Hmm. A seed bead necklace, different size seed beads. It is white seed beads that are braided, silver tone here on the hook clasp. A little bit of wear on there, definitely. You got to make sure I tell you about that. Um, there we go. Oh, there we go. Um, some like the starting of verdigris, but not really crazy verdigris. Uh oh, is that unhooked? There's a string right here, and I don't want to have beads go everywhere. No. Okay. So that string is probably where they tied off, and this was like the end of it. So that could just be clipped. Yeah, there's definitely some wear on this extender. Okay. So let's get... It looks pretty small. Let's see what size it is. 16 and a half inch total length. I guess that's not too bad, huh? We've seen shorter. That's for sure. It's very pretty, and they added... I like when they do something on the end of the extender. Just a little extra. These are acrylic, you guys. Um, I'm going to do this one for $14. $14. Okay. Have we had a ton of necklaces? It feels like it. Lots of necklaces. Let's see if we can find something else. Got some earrings here. 
these are acrylic um acrylic are you serious brain <laughs> okay i'm good acrylic uh cameos woohoo <laughs> they are posts you guys um and they're really cute they have like a bronzy brassy uh surround that the cabochon's in what's the surround called bezel okay so the bezel is this part the setting and this is like a cabochon okay there we go words are working these are going to be nine dollars you guys nine dollars Ooh, what do we have here copper do you guys like copper jewelry i tend to oh guess what Oh, it's not. Okay. I thought something was broken right here. Do you see it, guys? It was like a stem broke off, but it's not. It's part of the pin. She's whole. She's a beautiful little copper flower. Inch and three quarter. Six dollars. Six dollars on that one. Okay, here we go. So yesterday, I'm sorry about Throwback Thursday, um, but I actually went and took my niece out to lunch again. I had so much fun. She's so fun. She's um, going to be 22 this summer. And she has a new boyfriend. And he came to lunch with us too. This is awesome, you guys. Do you see all the mixed metals? And the acorns and leaves? I really love this. It's beautiful. Uh, there's Beck. It is a brooch. This pin does have a little bit of a sway in it. But it is... Let's see if it's staying in. It wasn't locked. <laughs> it's not going to stay in when it's not closed. Yes, it stays in there. It's not going to pop out. Inch and three quarter, eight dollars. So her boyfriend is so sweet, you guys. I have to say. So she like totally, this is a guy that she works with. Um, and she totally friend zoned this guy for like a year. And they just were friends. And then she's, she's like, yeah, let's give this a try. And oh my gosh, guys. It's sad in a way because... This is a very adult-like relationship, and it's like the first one I've seen her in, which makes me so sad because she's a big girl now. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Look at, oh, and they can kind of move. There's like three little like flying saucer beads all together at those spots. That's cool, you guys. Okay, I would say this is glass. It is very, very pretty. Um, it has a 16 inch total length, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's been in the bag, so it's a little bit wonky here. So we have to use our imagination a little bit. It has an AB finish with beautiful gold tone stations in there. This is a very pretty one. I'm going to get up close for you guys. Isn't that cool? So they can kind of all be different and catch the light differently. Like this is the same beads put here that have moved differently here like they can move on there that's really neat it gives like a magical light catching effect i really like it all right that one's gonna be twenty dollars and if you get something that's all like wonky like this guys uh, what i do is i hang it up and um either the its own weight will fix it or sometimes i'll put like a couple clothespins at the bottom to give it a little bit more weight and it usually takes it all out so just a little trick. Usually its own weight is enough, but so that one would probably need to be hung when you got it. Oh, we've got another copper flower here. So anyway, yes, this boy, this man, I mean, a man and a woman, honestly, which, oh, yay, a little patina right there. It's cute. It says solid copper on there. Do you guys see that? Uh, this one is two and a half inches, $6. So anyway, he really, you can tell that he like really cares about her, which uh, makes me so happy for her, honestly. And he went to the um, men's room and she was talking to me a little bit and oh, she's just happy. It's so cool. Makes me so happy. This is really cute, guys. Another copper brooch. I think that's just acrylic in there. I think so. It's an inch and a quarter. I like this look. I don't think I've seen another copper brooch like this. It's cool. 
Um, okay, this one is going to be six dollars. Six dollars. So yeah, that was bittersweet. <laughs> bittersweet that she's getting older. Okay, we got another copper brooch. We need something different. Come on, Ben. This is cool, you guys. Faux acrylic, faux turquoise in an acrylic. It is copper. Um, that is really cool. And it's like a brushed finish on there. Uh, let's see. This is two and a half inches wide by two and a, two inches tall. And it's going to be $11. It's very pretty. So, because I went to have lunch with my niece and her boyfriend, um... I got to see my little nephew, Christopher. And remember, I told you, Christopher's superpower is autism. And Christopher wants to be a YouTuber when he grows up. So I was telling you guys that I got to connect. These are also Renoir, you guys. These are cute. Have a little modernist look to them, right? I like them. Okay, clip-ons. And they say Renoir. Uh, these guys are an inch, and they're going to be $10. So I got to see my little Christopher and we connect on YouTube and I had an extra ring light. Actually, that was my mom's ring light, I'm pretty sure. And I had an extra camera stand for filming and I had told them I would bring them to him. And for reasons, you know, one and another reasons, um, the family had COVID, all different things. I just hadn't gotten back there. So he came home on the bus and he had had a little bit of a rough day. He came in crying, unfortunately. Um, because his bus driver almost missed his stop. And he has a little friend on the bus that is usually on the bus to remind him, hey, this is your stop, you gotta get off, you know. And his little friend wasn't on the bus that day, so he was very, very upset, but he advocated for himself and spoke up and said, that's my stop. So it was a really good thing, but he couldn't see that yet. <laughs> Poor little bugger. Okay, guys, this is really nice. There's a little wear on this hook. It kind of looks like somebody added this after. Like, it doesn't match exactly. Do you see that? I just want you to know that. 15-inch um, total length, you guys. This one's going to be $16. Let me give you up close. Oop, that's a little too close, Jolie. It's very pretty. So he was crying and crying, and I said, Christopher, I brought you a surprise. And he instantly was like, oh, you did? my guy did and he's like I think I know <laughs> so he was so excited oh my gosh I've never seen him this happy he was yelling I'm so excited like he was so happy he was like bouncing around like oh he was so happy it warmed my heart okay guys this is really pretty two inches wide it does have some height to it this one is $27 anyway he was so happy so um, I realized as I was leaving that I had given my sister a new job and she doesn't need any more jobs. <laughs> she works very hard as it is. So I said to Christopher on the way out, you know, even if you don't upload to YouTube right away, um, you can just keep filming and have things ready. So hopefully he's just filming away and not giving them too hard of a time. He did film. I'll tell you about that in a second. It's so cute. All right, this is really pretty, guys. Thermoset plastic in like a peachy color, like a peachy moon glow. Very pretty. Um, hook closure. Let's see what this end looks like. Oh, this end has a crown, which definitely means something, you guys. But I don't know. <laughs> this one's going to be $15. $15. So, yeah, it was really, really cute, you guys. And um, he did film, and my sister filmed him filming and sent us little videos oh my gosh he wants to his channel he's thinking he's gonna name it gaming with autism because he likes the gaming videos which i don't totally understand but that's that's cool people want to watch other people play video games i i don't totally get it i'm gonna carnelian 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 that's what i thought those were <laughs> So he was all set up and he was talking to his audience that he's going to have, hopefully. Um, this is very pretty, you guys. And definitely some real stones in there. That looks like sodalite to me. Um, this is a stone, I believe. We'll hit it with the gem tester. 
so cool so i would say a lot of stone and glass let's pull this over so yeah she sent videos could this possibly be amber too i don't know or faux amber i'm gonna do the orange bead circle bead ball bead okay guys it almost goes to that seam line and this made me think carnelian too so let me know what you guys think i'd love to know there's a little is it no it doesn't go through there's a little bit of a hole on that one um let's hit this with the black light and just for the heck of it check it out mm, can you guys see nope no that's not glowing so that is made to look like amber but it is not and then where's the other piece oh yeah the soda light that won't show up on that gem, gem tester really cool i like this a lot it has an 18 inch drop and this one's going to be 18 dollars so she recorded him and she was telling us like some of the things he was saying he was telling his audience he said i'm christopher and i have autism so i don't always do everything exactly right or i don't always i can't remember the words i'm paraphrasing <laughs> Um, but if you guys make mistakes too, it's totally okay. Oh my God. Like to die for, right? <laughs> okay. We've got a coral necklace. It has like a little knot in it for char character. Is it real coral? Hmm. I'm going to test. I'm going to do a test on that. Somebody told me about a test to try. 